Now, you'll remember earlier I was talking about uh, transporting goods from uh, one city to another. Um, so, you'll notice in this city, this is uh, my eighth city, and it's an or city. And my I have twenty. I have 129 million in here, and my capacity limit is 22 million. So therefore, uh, because I'm over my capacity level, I'm not actually producing anything, and that's not uh, something I want to keep happening. And I have not yet set up a transport for it. Now I can press show routes, and I can see the other tra transport uh, auto, auto transports I have uh, programmed in here. And you see there's nothing here for my 8th city, which is named Caraparavel. So we need to make one. And the originating city is city 8, and it will be going to city 1. Uh, and I want to get rid of that ore. And I always put this at about 12 million. My capacity limit is about 20 million, 22 and a half million. So that gives me uh, enough or to train with and yet uh, gives me some space in between that uh, 22 million so I can transport out uh, and I'm probably going to transport stone too I like to stockpile in another city but nah, we'll just keep it there for now uh, would I like to put it at about 5 billion And all the wood does is it stays in my city and acts as a buffer in case someone attacks it. They get uh, mostly a bunch of wood. And for food, you notice I have 18 billion food there. Which I don't want to leave because if I, we go to war, someone will come and take that 18 billion from me. So I'll keep this at about, well for now, about 1 billion. Gold, I don't know, really need to transport out, but I don't know. Sometimes I I do. And so after I get my numbers in there and check the boxes, I just press Add Route. And you'll see that it's added. And it will now show up on my list. Now I, in order to for transports to actually work, i got to press On, but I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, you should keep this at about 30 or 45 minutes. If you do less than that, you'll start to um, be in danger of getting CAPTCHA. And you probably want to use at least 900 troops uh, so that you can move at about 10 million per transport. Uh, another feature people don't really know about is the manual transport. And this is just a very easy way of moving stuff around to your cities. Um, let's say I, I want City 3 to have a little bit more ore because I'm in the middle of a tournament and I want to not run out. Uh, I can say from City 1 to City 3. I can type in 2,000 wagons. I'm going to transport ore over. So it'll be about 21 million ore or so. And I just press manual transport and boom. There you go. Wagon is moving from City 1 to City 3. And that's kind of a, a cool feature to use. Now that we're in the bot over here, the next thing we're going to want to talk about is probably uh, the raid feature. Um, I'll go ahead and, and set up a raid so I can show you how it works. Uh, let me see what city I want to do it in. Let's do it in City 3. I currently have four raids there now. Uh, I just need to go to Search, select City 3, and I can do Barb Camp, Wilderness, or City, but I'm going to do Barb Camp. I need the radius to be within 10, so I'm going to do a Search. I'm looking for level 7. Barb Camps, and it's um, thinking here. Okay, it's found too. So I just go to, this one is 6.4 clicks away, which is acceptable. We'll go to export. Uh, I'm going to pick a night here. 
147. With that high of a knight, I can get away with 36,000 archers. Normally, uh, with a low level knight, like early, uh, you know, under 100, I need about 45,000. But uh, with that high, I can get away with 36,000. And I just say raid and save. And bang. Now I have a fifth raid going. And that's how you set up your your raids. Um, that's one of the most basic things to do in the game. You must have raids going if you want to bring in resources and be competitive in the game. Uh, the raids will bring you bring in a level 7 raid, which I just did. Every time the raid goes out and hits the barb camp, it'll bring back 700,000 food and about uh, 70,000 wood and 7,000 uh, uh, ore or whatever. Uh, I can't remember the exact numbers on those, but um, I don't have to have farms in my cities because I raid and I bring in billions of food a day. Uh, so that that 700,000 every time they hit the, the raid camp, the barb camp, and they will actually hit about eight times an hour. And so if you have five of these running, or six in the city, and they all hit eight times an hour, that's 48 raids times 700,000, which is somewhere between 35 and 40 million food per hour. This is more of an advanced feature, but I can also use raid or search, excuse me, to find enemy cities. Let's say I want to find enemies nearby. I can search from city one, and uh, well, I can use this to find either hostile cities or misted cities, just depending on what I click here. So the search is done you'll see that it found two misted cities within 10 clicks of my city. Uh, I could even change this to hostile. And there are no hostile cities nearby. I can say friendly and I can see uh, a bunch of friendly cities nearby. Uh, allied cities, well these are these are people in my alliance. And you'll see that we have a nest here and there's like a 68 cities within 10 clicks of me. So the friendly is, uh, this is our sister alliance, so you can see that they're nearby too. Uh, neutral cities. Uh, there's a handful of people from other alliances there nearby. I can see unallianced cities. Uh, and these are people who are inactive. Pretty much. And then I can do all, which is just a a big mess. But if you're wanting to find misted cities, this is the way you do it. You do a search, and then you can even generate a scout list. You click on both of these, and you say start scout, and you'll see that uh, my city begins to automatically send out scouts. It'll scout both those cities. That's a very handy feature. If you want to scout your enemies or see who's nearby you in those cities that you, you know, those misted cities that you don't know who they are. Very handy feature. Uh, and back to the raid function. You can actually stop a city's raids by pressing stop there. Of course, if you leave auto reset on, even though it'll stop, it'll restart again. So you got to turn this off and then stop it, and it'll stay off. And once it's stopped, you'll be able to edit these so you could like change uh, the coordinates or change the troops or change the night. Uh, but that's kind of an advanced feature that most of you probably won't use very often. And to look again at the search function, uh, you can also search for wilds. And so let's say I need to put level 10 hills into my city. I can do a search, select hills, change this to 10, and it'll find me all the hills within 10 clicks of my city, and they're not going to be any because they've all been taken. But uh, this is how, when you're trying to get resources for your city and you need to find wildernesses, this is the way you do it. You can also, let's say, I, you know, like I said, I can't find any wilderness wildernesses with nearby my city. I can choose a random 
uh, province on the map that's far away from me, like Cadbury, and see if I can find uh, some hills there. And it'll search the entire province of Cadbury and find me all the level 10 hills there. And then I can go capture them. See, and there's a couple there. 